Okay, so basically I have a folder that's dedicated to photography. It has uh, two pages, well, one in a bit. The first one is Snapchat. Um, basically it's pretty easy, everyone knows what it is. Uh, you have your friends, you can chat with, you have your stories, you can look at, and then you literally just snap, type, add a filter, and then send. The next one I have is Retica. Um, basically this is one of my favourites. Um, you can press this flip tool and basically it flicks through loads of filters which are really good and add really good effects to your camera. Um, you can get the full version of this but I only have the free one so you can get even more filters. You can also click on the filters and the categories and go through them manually if you, there's one that's your favourite. Uh, you can add layouts um, and perspectives and then what's also really good about it is that you can focus on specific areas and adjust the brightness and the contrast while you're doing it. The next one is Glitch. This is my all-time favourite app. Um, I've used it for uni and other projects. Basically you select your picture and then it has many different things you can do like Glitch and then you can save these as videos, stop them, pause them, scan which spreads the image, channels which just mixes the colours around a bit, invert which inverts part of the image that you select, um, grid which turns your image into a grid that you can expand into and the more times you press it the larger the grid gets or the smaller, lines which is the same but just with lines scene same but it's the scene you can move it around so it's like a landscape it's actually pretty cool uh, pixel grid again the same but just with pixels uh, LCD which changes the hues burn which burns parts of the image uh, then you've got pixelate which pixelates part of the image fill which fills it with color that you can change VHS which creates the old video style, gradient, blur, blurs and then stretches back which you can save as a motion as well, data mosh which moves the images around in a weird way, data bend which is very similar, purple which is similar again but creates a purple hue, colour to completely make the colour go crazy, this one just takes the shape out of it and expands it, I'm not sure what use that could be, but this one mirrors as well, so that's cool. This is a new one that I haven't really seen, so I'm not sure about that one. You liquefy, does what it says on the turn. Uh, edges just picks up the edges, but with this one it's not very much. Emoji, this one creates the image out of emojis, but it's just taken a little while to load this one. There you go, you can change the colours and stuff. This works better with some than others. And then blocks, which just turns it into blocks. I just like the fact that you can save them as moving image from that as well. Then I have Wittagram. Basically, you take your image and if it's not a square, it puts it into a square so you can upload it onto Instagram and things like that without having to crop the image. You can also edit from that app as well, but I don't usually tend to do that. Procam. Uh, you can take the pictures in this with the multiple settings, but I tend to take my own pictures and then open it up in this and then it has many functions. It has all the rotation and cropping tools, then it has the adjustment tools, uh, brightness, contrast, saturation, white balance, highlights, uh, shadows, sharpness, etc. Filters, uh, lens finishes. And then it also has a button here in the bottom corner, which if you hold down shows the original. Sorry about that noise. Someone's mowing their lawn. Circular. Uh, basically, it does what it says on the tin. I'll show you with one of the epic examples. I use this one a lot. If you select the picture, and then it turns it into circular. You can zoom in and out, rotate, invert, repeat, flip, there's many different things you can play around with. 
and then you can add effects like lens flares and things like that um, and then you can edit it further with the colours, add layers and filters. Hyperlapse, um, I can't really show you what it does right now but basically it just takes a video over a certain long period of time and then condenses it down so it happens really fast. Instagram layout, um, I used to have dick pic but now I have this one because um, Diptych was good but this one allows you to do things like this so I'll just show you I did this the other day for example I could show you I did one like this and you can basically just mirror and flip it and it works out really well it looks really good uh, Trimaginator, I use this for university to create data portraits, basically you put a picture in, it works be better with some than others, and then it picks out the angles in it and turns them into shapes. Polymatic, what this one does is you pick a photograph, edit it, and it basically prints it out digitally as a Polaroid, so you can upload it uh, with that finish. It's got filters, adjustments, and um, borders, different Polaroid borders, things like that, and then you just export it and upload it wherever you want. Analog film, uh, basically, all of these at the top are groups of filters, and all of them have about 12 filters within them, so that's a lot of filters, and they're really quite nice, so I use them quite a lot. And then the last one I have is Photo Blend. I do have more, I, well I did have more, sorry, but um, I tried to delete some because my phone was just rammed full. I didn't use them all anyway, so if I select two photographs with this Photo Blend app, some work better than others, but what it will do is it will blend them together. So when I press one of these buttons, it will slowly start to blend them together. But then what I can do is I can change the contrast and the amount of blend and the brightness. Let's try that again. So when I press one of these, it will merge them together gradually. As you can see, like I say, some work better than others, but you can select them and change the contrasts and the amount of blendedness that you get that way. You can create an image that blends two together. I use this for books and things like that. So that's all of my apps for now, obviously apart from Instagram. Instagram I upload a lot of my pictures onto and I don't really use the auto because I don't really like it. I don't really use the filters anymore. But I use all of these to fine tune exactly how I want an image to go because I just think that they're really good. A cool new feature is this colour blocker where you can select the shadows and give them a hue and select the highlights and give them a hue as well. So basically that's all of the apps that I use and this is my Instagram okay so that's everything um, that I use on my phone to edit photographs and to post them onto social media like Instagram um, it's not that complicated I just like to get a bit creative with it and change things up to get bored of pasting the same old things um, if you want to check out my Instagram it is at Ryan Ashcroft the same as my Twitter um, and give that a follow as well as my YouTube channel if you like what you see so thank you very much. Bye.